Hello and welcome, my name is Christoph Putz and I'm your IT career guide. In today's video of the 5 Minute Wednesday series, I want to talk about the Security Plus certification by CompTIA. And I want to ask the question and answer it, of course, is the Security Plus certification worth it? So is the certification that valuable? Is it worth the effort? So is the certification really worth the effort? Is it worth your time? And my answer is really um, very easy to say, yes, it is. So for one, I really think it's one of the CompTIA certifications. It has only one exam, so that makes your life a little easier. It's a worldwide recognized certification. It is around since 2011, so it's well established. There are over 2.3 million people that have been certified with the Security Plus certification worldwide. So there is already an existing, I want to say, foundation of that certification. So the name has been around, hiring managers know about it, even HR departments know about it. And it's simply in the cybersecurity world, uh, to be known that Security Plus is a valuable certification. Is it a certification that drives your career all the way through? No, it is not. It's a foundational certification. So it's really your entry into cybersecurity or information security. And that's really what you should um, take away from the Security Plus certification. It is your entrance. It gives you that foundation. You will understand the latest trends and all the security related items that you need to know about and that's it but you can use that foundation really as the next step and then look like at certification the cissp or similar ones to really build up your career build up your expertise the other reason why i think that the security plus certification is worth your effort well it is recognized by the u.s federal government specifically the department of defense so the Department of, De of Defense, the DOD, has this directive out there, the 8140-8570, that's the second number, and there's also an identifier, but this directive uh, really makes sure that the Security Plus certification is a recognized within the DOD and can be made a requirement for certain jobs. So that means if you don't have this certification, you might not qualify for that position and you can well you can apply but uh, you would not be considered a candidate for those positions so very important to really understand what does it do within the department of defense and um, so i think that stamp of approval by the dod and the federal government uh, is very critical government jobs might not be the highest paying jobs but um, they make for usually very safe um, work environments so meaning work security um, the um, really you can feel safe going to work there not from being protected but you have a steady job a steady income so that job security really is there and I know we're talking about information security cyber security job security so um, just want to make sure that you fully understand um, what I'm referring to here so and then um, I mentioned that the certification is around since 2011 and I haven't counted the different versions that have come out however I know that with um, the so I know with the latest version, uh, the SY0-601, that's the latest version out there. The previous version of this exam for the Security Plus certification is the SY0-501. That exam will only be available till the um, end of July 2021. And then usually you can expect another three years for the SY0-601 to be available. So that would carry you into 2024 where that certification, where the specific exam version of that certification is still current. Um, I will link to another video up here where I'm talking about the expiration of certification Then what does it really mean to you. So um, you might want to check it out and take a look there. So, but that's my introduction really into the Security Plus certification by CompTIA. I think it's a really valuable certification. Even if you have already a couple of years of experience under your belt, I think if you are looking for a new job and you want to show your credentials and you combine it with other certifications and then back it up with um, the work experience that you have acquired over the years, um, well, you should be a good and qualified candidate for almost any job um, that you're applying for. Granted, you need to meet certain qualifications and experience, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. I really appreciate it. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.